click on my video and um, we're gonna we're gonna go there okay so hopefully hopefully it'll come up it's come up. It, there she is hold on folks let's pull her um, let me pull you on cam so people can see you and um, there we go there we go very cool there's Tina hi good morning Tina Hey, Bobby, congratulations. I've been listening. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been listening, dancing, rejoicing. Just, I'm just so happy for you. I'm happy not only for you, I'm happy for all of the artists that you're playing and the ones that I've heard you interview. I, listen, you're doing some great things for these guys, really. Uh, I mean, man, you. It, you, you're just off the chain. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, it's I appreciate those kind words. You know, but you, you, you know, connecting with you, what, a grand total of about two and a half weeks ago? <laughs> Yeah. As just in yeah, it seems like forever though. It it seems like forever be, you know what? It's just it's just the law of attraction. It's just the universe. That's why it seems, I mean we we're just so connected. You got it. Well, I, I you know, first of all, uh, for the listeners, so you know who Tina is. We're going to be featuring her, her song um, later on, Pearl, from her forthcoming uh, album, Nikki Ruth. And uh, but um, she's also a producer. She does great work. She does the voiceover. You know, when you heard the the marketing minute for Ambo Keeley before we pull in, I Ambo Keeley, she's the lady. She's the lady. And uh, so, I am. <laughs> yeah. So so tell us about your musical career, your background, and um, okay. that's exciting. See, you're going to make me seem real ancient, but um, <laughs> the truth is, I've been, I've been in music all my life, you know, I mean, I'm, as far back as elementary school. Uh, I've done it all, orchestra, band, uh, choirs, uh, worship leader, uh, minister of music, uh, I've done it all. I've just been in music all of my life. That's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. My jazz influences, of course, come from you know, being at home and my mom would, would just have jazz playing and so I kind of, I'm one of those musicians I picked up things by ear and uh, I eventually ended up with a music scholarship and by the time I got to college I was playing of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so one thing led to another. Uh, my passion was writing and producing. There you go. That's okay. what, that's, I, I just love the creative process. That's the, uh, that's, that's what I live for. Well, you, you, you know, and your creative process shines loud and clear in your marketing minutes, and that's creative, and that's different, and that's cutting edge. Tell the yeah. viewer, tell the indie artist, tell the listeners what Marketing Minute is all about. Well, the Marketing Minute, I came up with the idea after having several, uh, many, many conversations with indie artists and producers, and, and uh, something uh, Anne McKinley said is that she really just didn't know how to promote herself, and so these are the these are the types of conversations that I had, but these people had day jobs. They had day jobs, uh, they had families, they had other things that were, were you know, that, that, that were more important than their career, not saying their, their career is not important, but these are things that they had to do uh, before giving time and attention. And I also realized that uh, people are, can, they're, they're receiving their information different now. Uh, people don't really have the time to read like they used to read and research and different things like that. So I figured, what if I could just give them something, uh, small bite sizes, uh, some tips and some information that could at least not only I help them to get on the right track. So I figure I'd do it in one minute. It doesn't take a lot of their time. Uh, yeah. I would I would research the uh, what some of the mainstream artists w were doing because a lot of these people were underground before anybody knew who they are, were. So I just figured I, I would do something like that, and 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 the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> you you cram a lot in one minute. I don't know what you put in your coffee before you do the recording, but I've never boom. But I have to listen. To couple times to really and, and the other day I, I called Amber Killy when you released that mp3 just 48 hours ago her yeah. marketing minute yeah. I called her on her cell phone I said are you driving or are you on the side of the road put your ear to the phone yeah. and I just played it and she was like numb she was wow 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 and I did the same thing with with Westbound where we're going to be introducing him and have him on the call but he was in I had him on Skype and when he heard what you did you know with marketing minute for him he was in tears yeah. he was in absolute tears and um, you know, I, and so was I. So was I. By the way, when I heard those goosebumps, I had tears because I said, "If I'm an artist and I recognize the kind of promotional work that people like you are doing for them, uh, it's it's like wow, we're out of isolation now." As you know, I'm not an indie artist, but 
you know, I'm trying to think like them behind the computer every day. What, what do I do next to promote myself? So you've been a blessing in my life. And uh, why don't you tell the viewer what you, you and I are doing it's together a, with Marketing Minute? Yeah, it's a team up with you to uh, provide uh, independent artists with these uh, marketing promos because, you know, like the, the people that are signed with major labels, they have this huge marketing machine behind them and they have all of this money behind them. And, and the independent artists right now, the same thing can be done with them just on a smaller scale. And so that's one of the reasons that you and I are teaming up together to provide them with the best marketing, the best promotion, uh, you, you're providing the platform for them, so I, I think it's just a wonderful thing. I, and, and they get it, they get it, you know, as you said earlier, uh, there are going to be some, some opportunities for them to get some packages, and the marketing minute, the artist marketing minute will be a part of that package, so it would be just to their benefit to, to just jump on board yes i noticed uh, you know for folks my apologies for for the, the viewer listeners the, the people are listening all over the internet and uh, different places and, and i did notice some te text people want to know uh, what's that package ambo kill you we'll we'll we'll, sh we'll share a little bit about that later in the show but remember this is the, our inaugural show we'll be here every saturday morning just for one hour every saturday 9 a.m eastern and uh, we'll be promoting nine indie artists now obviously the inaugural show is going longer because we've got so much to share a lot of artists I'm trying to bring all the special guests uh, in the coming minutes so we can just play music and stream music for, for another hour after that. But uh, yeah, there's a lot and um, we're just, we're creating sp spontaneously. Now we just lost Tina on her feed, but uh, hopefully Skype will bring her back on. And um, so let me just lower the volume on that. So yeah, folks, so bear with us. I mean, we, we know where we're going. We, we've laid out the map, but we are creating, we're putting together, we're putting the joint ventures together. And if you're involved in promotion, if you're working with indie artists, I don't know, let's chat. We're not creating competition, we're creating collaboration. We're gonna find everybody's strength and try to bring it together in, in, in an environment of perfect harmony. Easier said than done, right? easier said than done but that's the intention part of the vision to build a global community of music lover and independent artists and our mission is to to help make the money more profitable for the indie artists so you, we'll talk about other things about marketing in a moment but it looks like uh, we lost the feed with Tina Skype it's doing it its best here I have great bandwidth so I don't know what's going on between here and Dallas but um, yeah, I lost her. I'll try to redial her. But uh, Tina, if you're listening on the show, um, thank you so much. I mean, uh, you gave the gist. You can you can find her. Um, uh, we'll give you a link for Tina. You, Tina E. Clark. You can find her on Facebook. That's for sure. And TinaEClark.com. And uh, by the way, some people are asking, who the heck are you, Bobby D? Bobby D is my DJ name back from the 80s. And um, you, if you want to know more about me, my background before all that, Bobby D. Dot promote the music dot com. My name is Robert Deanyard Fung, but when people ask me, how do you spell Deanyard Fung, I was tired for years and years and years, and I said, let's keep it simple, Bobby D. <laughs> so it's uh, Robert Deanyard Fung, and uh, Bobby D uh, at uh, dot promote the music dot com. There's um, a little professional portfolio there of my past, uh, I don't know, the, um, the work I've been doing just in the last several years, but uh, outside the music industry, right? What people have to say behind my back. All right. So more music, more music, and we'll be calling. Uh, we'll be calling uh, Germany uh, real soon as well. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for uh, what the energy. I'm excited because of the people like Tina that are showing up and joint venturing and um, with us. And um, our marketing minutes will be made available in the packages. And um, you know, extremely uh, great. Well, it's great work. She's doing great work. That's all there is to it. All right, let me go. Uh, let me go over here because. Um, all right, we are going to play some more music. I just got to figure out um, who we're going to be playing. Yeah, I met, I met again some great artists just recently. Um, Lenny Sharman from Australia will be featuring him on the next um, on the next triad mix, uh, triad mix number forty. Yeah, we've got a lot of music programmed for the coming weeks. You notice uh, <laughs> number forty. Um, yeah, we got some forty triad mix. So, but we we need more music. We need more indie artists, of course want to promote so um, I'll give you a link um, uh, for indie artists who would like their music showcase the way we're doing it today um, let me do this let me uh, actually put the uh, the little banner so you can um, see it on screen so that'll help you it's um, 
promotethemusic.com slash submitmusic.html. So send us a track, one MP3, your funkiest track, the one you're most proud of. And, um, you know, I'll find a way to uh, promote you. Uh, we'll put it into a timeline. The show for next week is already preset, but, uh, you know, nine... Nine artists per week, nine artists per week, all right, over an hour show. That's the intention. Not, but, but we'll keep promoting throughout the week, you know, to the member, the members uh, list. And uh, the, the way you need to, um, uh, be, if you want to be part of the, uh, the membership, which is free, okay, uh, rsvp.promotethemusic.com, get into that database. And when we release a triad mix, and I'll show you what that looks like today, uh, where you can listen to it on the stream and have access to all the musicians profile and website um, you know just get into the database all right and uh, so um, I did tell you we would uh, talk about the contest all right this is what we're gonna do um, it just you know get ready to email us all right I'm gonna select a number and, and I'm just gonna write the number down uh, randomly in my mind and um, I'm gonna write a couple of numbers here so um, we're going to ask you to email us in a moment, and uh, let me go to um, let me go to uh, that protocol so you know. But don't email me right away because you're going to lose out. All right? Very important you understand what we're about to do here as far as the Costa Rica trip. All right? We've given some away. Some of you listening in of one trips. Uh, Sharon Oshat, um, yeah, 2007, huh? She won. And we gave many trips away in the past. So uh, I know Sharon is listening. I know Shay's listening in, in New York. She wants to come to Costa Rica. She's cleaning her ho apartment while she's listening to the show. Uh, and I got a lot of great comments, and I, I just can't visit all the comments right now. My apologies. It's like trying to maintain focus here. But let me go to um, the contest, all right? This is what we're going to do. All right, you ready? And um, so in the email, so first of all, the email you're going to email me at is contest at promotethemusic.com. Don't send the email right away. In the subject line, you just write Costa Rica, okay? Now, to be eligible to win today, you must be 18 years of age. You must have posted at least on your Facebook wall that you're listening to the show and put the domain, www.promotethemusic.com. So just go to Facebook before we do the contest and post that because we'll verify. And um, what else, what else? That's it. It's pretty simple, all right? And, and you must be live when we announce the winner. You must be live to claim your prize. Okay, and if not, we'll just draw another name. Fair enough? So uh, get your email browser ready because after this, um, well, in, in the next several minutes, we're, uh, we'll push the buttons. Contest at promotethemusic.com. The email subject line, Costa Rica. By the way, in the body, put your full name so we know who you are, all right? So when we call you and hopefully you'll be the winner, we'll be able to you know, address you by your first name. We want to announce the name on the show. All right, pull your full, full name and you gotta be 18. Go and post. I'm listening to PromoteTheMusic.com live with Bobby D on your Facebook wall, okay? Again, that's a great way to create awareness for the indie artist, for the show, for what we're doing. So it um, doesn't cost you anything to do that, right? And it's a qualifier. That's it. Simple, huh? All right. So some music coming up by Paul Hardcastle, Lenny Sharman, and Westbound. And after, after this uh, funky set... I call him Funky Seb because that's what I was doing on FunkyJazz.tv on the uh, Triad Mix. Um, you know, we, um, we have Westbound, right? And we'll be talking with Westbound in Germany right after this uh, Triad Mix. So enjoy that. Now we'll be back with uh, Westbound live in about 13 minutes. 